and get into it. We're going to start off over here with a law in the Torah that illustrates a spiritual point, as you said, we're going to get into. Mm -hmm. It's not so much about the physical, although it did happen back in those days, still happens today, but we're trying to emphasize more the spiritual. In other words, how do you unveil the spiritual dimension of what a scripture in Torah is trying to say mm -hmm. and find evidence of that when it happens in the New Testament. So in Deuteronomy chapter three, 23, verse 1, I titled this, Lack of Seed Disqualifies You. Lack of seed disqualifies you. So if you're going to walk in this way, you better make real sure that the seed that Yahweh put in you is able to, to project out from you and produce fruit, mm -hmm. produce offspring, you know, for Yahweh mm -hmm. to your account. And so if that seed is corrupted in any kind of way, you are disqualified. And that's the nature of this scripture. So let's go ahead and read this. It says, he who is crushed as to split or wounded in the stones to be mutilated physically or the testicles is what it's referring to, or be mutilated physically or mentally, his privy member of his penis that pours forth or by cutting off, as to make a covenant by cutting the flesh, shall not enter the assembly of Yahweh. And we're going to see evidence of this spiritual concept in the New Testament, where individuals got themselves caught up in situations that did exactly what it's saying here. You're cut off from the assembly. Mm -hmm. You might still be professing Yahweh. You still might be professing Yahshua. You still might be for, for professing any of the things that cliche statements that people like to make. That is not evidence that the seed of you that's inside of you, placed there by Messiah, is authentic. And we got plenty of scriptures where Yahshua says, and they will say to me in that day, uh, Master, Master, did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not heal the sick in your name? And so forth. And he goes on to say, I never knew you, you who practice Torahlessness. Mm -hmm. So just saying you do this and that and the other is not the litmus test. Mm -hmm. The litmus test is how well grounded are you to the word where you're not mixing other covenants mm -hmm. Because this is what this text is talking about. If you cut your flesh, whether and we, I think we talked before a little bit about the pariah circumcision yeah. last time. You're cut off. That's it. You're gone. You know. If your testicles get crushed, well, in the physical sense, if your testicles are crushed, what that means is you cannot produce any offspring. And we know that those who served in the temple could not have any defects on them. Just like the sacrifices that were presented in the temple could not have any defects. Mm -hmm. So in the New Testament dispensation, we, have, we don't have a temple. We don't have a priesthood other than the fact that we are Melchizedian priests. Yeah. Okay. And we need to keep ourselves unspotted yeah. from this world and how it tries to influence us and make its way inside to this covenant where your testicles get crushed. Mm -hmm. And now you do not have the spiritual authority to execute that which you would like to do, and you just can't do it. And unfortunately for a lot of people, they're not aware where things have crept into that have caused this problem. We're going to go into a little bit of that as well. Yeah. So let's go ahead and move on. 